Hey guys, what's up? This is Gale Spender here again for yet another video, and welcome to another Mario Kart 8 track in depth guide and analysis. Today, Toad Harbor. Welcome to one of my favorite tracks in the game because of the colorful scenario and some real life references. Toad Harbor is the second track of the Flower Cup, and like mentioned before, this track seems to have a lot of similarities with San Francisco. And damn, even the Peach Statue of Liberty makes an appearance, so let's teach her how to crush this track. Now we're gonna take a look at the fastest base route and the most efficient way to earn 10 coins. I say base because due to the nature of the game, you cannot change your card combination before knowing what track you are going to dominate. For this and all of the fastest base route examples, I'm going to be using the default card build. We will also cover the drift which will help you get a much better time. Alright, on with the footage. This is the trickiest route we've had so far, so open up with your initial boost and build up a blue drift to the right. But if you can build an orange one, that's even better. Release it shortly after spawning some boost pads, pressing R on top of both of them and grabbing one coin on the second one. Turn a bit to your right in order to grab one more coin and start an orange drift to the right, releasing it after you obtain your third coin. Take the right path as you build another orange drift and grab two more coins before a boost pad, but don't press R on top of this one. Build up a blue drift upon landing and continue in a straight line until you spot some street cars. Build up an orange drift to the right as you pass the first one and maintain your drift as you grab three more coins behind the second one, releasing it shortly after passing it. It gets easier from here. Just go all the way to your left in order to grab your last two coins as you take two more boost pads and then perform at these two final drifts to close the lap. Excellent! Now this great track is in our pocket. But as always, remember the following tips to perform even better. Number 1. Mushroom Spots The only 100% efficient mushroom spot on this track can be found right before the finish line. So use it right here as you build up a drift and release it once the mushroom boost is over. Number 2. Hazards There are actually many things which can harm your position on this track. First of which being the water if you don't land on the boost pads correctly. Next, we have tons of crates and barrels scattered throughout the track. You can break them, but they will still slow you down. Last but not least, we have the streetcars, so make sure to avoid them on this portion of the track. Number 3. Alternate Routes First, you can take this area on the ceiling which will yield a couple more coins. Second, you can take the left path on this section which will also yield more coins, but it's also slower. Third, you can go for the anti-gravity area on the wall for a couple of boost pads. Lastly, enter this small alley to the left for some extra coins. But again, it's slightly slower than the other one. And with this information, we are done with Toad Harbor. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave us a comment down below if you have any feedback to provide. Also, feel free to subscribe to both Nimbus and my channel for more Mario Kart 8 content. So with that, you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and until the next track analysis video, I will see you then.